I wanted to do this alone, but Clara gave me an order. I can handle myself. Don't give a shit. So could Lita. She should be here right now, but instead, I get you. And I'm supposed to be in Miami. But instead, my two best friends are dead, and I'm stuck here with you. So, truce? Enough talk. Step one, we hit the tobacco. Step two, we destroy their poison supply. Step three, we get the fuck out of there, and Castillo gets a nice pretty message from Libertad. Got it. Take this gear. It'll protect you from fire, and more importantly, Castillo's fucking poison. Right tool for their right job. Been hearing that a lot lately. Listen, Julio. Lita was... Oh, she died because of you, Ross. No. Anton Castillo killed Lita. If I could change anything, it would be me dying on that beach. Lita was a better person than I could ever be. And if she loved you, well... That just says a lot about who you are. Enough. Look, if you and I are going to do this, you need to know about the poison. You mean that shit they spray on the leaves? Its real name is PG-240, but we call it the poison because it fucks up your system. Try not to breathe it. Shit. Come on, let's go. Okay, its real name is PG-240, but we call it the poison because it fucked up your system. Try not to breathe it or get it on your skin. It can make you go fucking crazy or sick, like deep down sick. And if that doesn't get you, the cancer that grows inside you will. Go on, yo. So you're military. Marksman? Close this up? What's your thing? I'm good with guns. We get along. We'll start thinking. That gear I gave you is good for fire and poison, but guerrillas need gear that fits their style, no matter the situation, or they get themselves killed. This is a good place to scout it. Right behind you. Let's see what we're up against. See the Viviro tobacco and the yellow poison tanks? See. Si. Punch holes in the tanks to let the poison out into the air. Fun fact. Poison and fire make a hell of a mix. Big boom. See? Si. 
same idea with the fumigators. They're hard to kill, but they can't take the heat. You've got a flamethrower. You've got that Supremo. Time to fuck up all this Vaviro bullshit. You know, Lita and I had a ritual. Psych us up before battle. A song. Hit me. El movimiento de libertad. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao. Bella ciao, ciao, ciao. <laughs> For Lita. For Lita. Let's make some chaos, Danny.
got to destroy more shit. Damn it.
meet me back at the local point. On my way. Guapo, here! Burning sheet with a flamethrower? Felt familiar. Fuck them up! Keep on them! Oh yeah. Shit. You really can hold your own. I don't want to say I told you so, but... Look, we should move. That was a hell of a light show, and they're going to see the smoke. We work well together. See? Si. Listen, if you are good with Lita, you're good with me. Gracias, Danny. Meet you back at camp. Oye, Clara, I hope you can see the smoke from where you are. You struck a blow against Castillo today. I hope Julio wasn't too rough on you. He's hurting, but okay. I think Lita would be smiling right now. Danny, there's someone I want you to meet. His name is Benito. He's a local fisherman, which means boats for Libertad. He lives on the east side of Casas Cove. Always got time to make new friends. You're building bridges for me, Danny. It's your gift. We need Benito. Easy. Over here. What's up? Thanks for the cash, guerrilla. This is where you'll find the supplies. Gracias. Get him. To me, Wapo.
Avanzó. ¡Vamos! ¡Mierda, cocodrilo! ¡Coño! ¡Qué te metes, ah! Be nice. Vamos. Don't worry, I'm a friend. Danny, my scouts tell me you're close to the fuel depot. It's an FND base now. Then you want me to take it? See, si. the army has bases all over Yara. We want freedom, we need to break their grip on the island. I'll do what I can, Clara. Guarda tu arma. Clara, I'm at the depot. Reaper Khan needs jet fuel. So taking that depot isn't just about dealing with the army. It also means securing that gasoline. You've got to do this smart, Danny. Find some high ground and use your phone to scout out cameras and alarms. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I 
I know you're still here. Over here. Go. Come back. Get him! Gotta turn that valve! this unlock? Coco, the
Hola. Hola. I bet this place has a stash room.
truck. Truck! Yeah! Gracias, mi socio. No hay problema. Such a good dog. Let me guess. Clara Garcia talked you into this. She even had us fishers hooked on her libertad nonsense. Convinced us to help her little invasion of Santuario. Lost five of my best. Now Clara calls me begging for boats. More recruits. Pfft. I'm a pirate first. Fisher second. Thank the blockade for that. We use our boats to pull fish from the sea. And we get people and contraband past the army. But El Presidente died in his grip. The new Comandante, Rosario, has locked down all the fuel to keep it out of Libertad's hands. Murders anyone who dares get near it. I heard you liberated the refueling station. Gracias. But if Clara wants us to help Libertad, kill Rosario and show the army we won't go down without a fight. Suerte, compay. Back already. Danny, the only thing better than a guerrilla is a guerrilla with a nice ride. You want me to steal one? I've been doing that since I was a kid. You're in the big leagues now. You need a car? Just call for one. I'll have it for
friend bring it right to you. Gracias. But you don't have any friends, one. Just shut up and call for a car, Danny. Let's grab a ride. Hola, this will get you where you're going. Juan, this is a nice car. That's not a car, Danny. That is a 1956 Beaumont Valentina. She's a work of art. Just like me. Except I don't have a ram welded to my chassis to fuck up anyone who gets in your way. You're definitely one of a kind. <laughs> now go get those fascists, Tiger! Rosario. Adiós. Ok, Benito. Rosario is dead. And the fuel is flowing again. I know a thing or two about looking out for you.
Clara. Benito's back on your side. He's on his way to you right now. Shit, Danny, gracias. Now get your ass back to camp. You have to get off this island. Just remember our deal. I've paid my rent and then so. One of those boats has me sailing to Miami. I keep my word, Danny. How about we change history first? Go now. I'm running. Cover me.
You want us to take down Anton's ships? We're goddamn fishermen. Then leave us to die again, compai. The fuck are you doing? Try it. It's fun. What's the plan, Heffa? For Anton to see us from the fucking capital? Yes. Well, it's working. You've got 20 minutes until Anton's forces come. So you better start running. Go! I said, run! Rules of the guerrilla, Juan Cortez. A revolution is not won by the fearless. It's won by the feared. What does Anton Castillo fear? Free elections, free expression, free outcasts. Ayara, free of Castillos. But he will fear nothing. Unless you are willing to die for your freedom today. Not when we have more believers or more guns, today. Because today I'm going to put a hole through Castillo's warships. I am not fearless. I am scared as hell. But I promise you one thing. I will be feared. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Let's go home, Grias. Does she know what she's doing? Who cares, Danny? She knows what we need. See you from the sky, guerrilla. You get that chopper up and running. See, si, but there's an anti-aircraft cannon blocking the airspace around Castillo's warships. Okay, Juan. I'll take it out. Sirvio, because if it gets me, I'll make sure my fiery corpse comes down on you like a meteor. Come on. Ah, see. Sí. You're okay. Fall <laughs> now.
Gonna grab a right. Keys are in the ignition. Don't wreck this one, okay? Hey, thanks. You got my back. Oh, my God. 
ustedes. Clara, I'm close to Castillo's ships. Muy bien, Danny. You'll be boarding those ships as our assault element. Julio, where are you? I'm in the lighthouse. It's equipped with an RPG in perfect line. want to use your camera to check out the defenses on those ships. Look before you leap. If Lita was with us now, she'd be smiling. And halfway to those ships already. If Lita was here, I'd kick her ass for keeping you a secret. Take care of yourself, Julio. Sneaky. Clara, I'm on board. This is it, Danny. Clear those 
those ships and don't be afraid of using their own weapons against them. Those turrets pack one hell of a bunch.
Clara, it's over. Let's get the fuck out of here. We couldn't have done it without you, Danny. We're not done yet. I'm going to hang back, set charges, and make sure those ships are blown to shit. Check in when you're done, Julio. Copy that. Danny, I'm on my way to pick you up. Libertad, Danny. Hell of a fireworks show. To give you credit, Clara. You fucking did it. We did it, Danny. That was the difference. What's your plan when you reach America? Me and my friend Alejo were going to work shit jobs until we could scrape up some money. Open a body shop. If the Yankee blockade taught us anything, it's how to keep things running when you got nothing. That's the dream? Sure, Yankees might pay you to park their cars or pick their fruit, but you'll never be one of them. The American dream doesn't come in our color. Okay. If we're shitting on dreams, what are you going to do if you win, Presidente Garcia? The next president won't last six months before they are assassinated. Wait, what? It's the truth. Won't free elections solve that? What happened to your list? It's a vision, Danny. But I'm not as naive as you think. This revolution will free Yara, but won't fix it. When we take the capital, Yara will be burning. It will be civil war, factions, warlords, born-backed coups. Take your pick. Yarans will be killing Yarans for a generation. Uh-huh. This fight will take the rest of my life. Yara is stuck in a cycle of tyranny and revolution. My job is to show us how to break it. This isn't a dream, is it? You have to do this. What makes you say that? No one would choose this. No, Danny. Everyone who follows me, who joins Libertad, chooses this. But you know, I can really see you stocking shelves in one of those giant Yankee supermarkets. <laughs> Fuck you. No, no, no. I just think you'd look good in a little uniform, name tag, maybe a fancy apron. Leave me out of your fantasies, Clara. Bienvenidos a mi casa. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in.
Live or die, we'll kill you fucking through your eyes. Traitors! Criminals! Puta. Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn it can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yarn understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival. Not justice, not love, not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come mierda. Fake yarns love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break, like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Papa, you've proved your point. Put Julio down. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio. I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Then, enjoy the show. Julio checked in. Proof of death. Join your friend Lita in a suite hereafter. I keep my promises, Danny. You wanted a boat, you got a boat. It's a beautiful piece of shit, but it'll get you to a Yankee beach. One with the naked fatties. You two are just gonna let me leave. Bullshit. You could have sold us out a long time ago. You're my best, Kiria. I can't promise you victory, I can't even promise you survival. What I can promise you is this. You are the lucky one. That usually work. 50-50. Nipinga. I bet this fucking boat will sink halfway to Miami.
I think of myself as a second-hand killer. All right, let's work. So many fun ways to fuck up soldados. Afghanistan, I smoked a cigar made of pony shit. Left my voice a little hoarse. <laughs> uh, one does it again. Ah, my favorite guerrilla. Con calma. Want me to make you the best supremos and resolver weapons? You need depleted uranium. Lucky for you, Castillo has stashed his supply with the biggest guns on the island, his anti-aircraft cannons. When you got some of that sweet uranium, you can bring it back to my office, or to one of my associates. If you capture an FND base, a member of Team Juan will move in and give you access to my inventory. And don't forget, rank has its privileges. When Clara is kind enough to promote you, we'll be able to hook you up with better gear. Just have those pesos ready. Even in revolution, nothing comes free. And here's some advice, guerrilla to guerrilla. Have some fun for fuck's sake. Die with a smile on your face. You'll be back. They always come back.
Once you're back at Santuario, shake the trees for guns, ammo, new believers. Casio was surprised. Let's keep it that way. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. You can leave any time. What's the rush? Inspiring. Let's free Yara, shall we? Castile controls all of Yara with soldados, slaves, and blood. The capital is a stronghold. We take Esperanza, we free Yara. Best chance we got to weaken Castillo is to hit military targets like FND bases and checkpoints. But most important, we have to surround Esperanza and trap Castillo in his cage. That means targeted operations that will unite the revolution and make Libertad stronger. To do that, I need you to recruit three groups in Yara to fight with Libertad. Each is waging war across Yara with a different piece of Castillo's empire, all controlled by his inner circle. In El Este, foreign invaders like Mickey Industries suck our resources dry, and Admiral Benitez defends Castillo's poison lifeline. But the old legends of 67 can help us turn the tide. They're hiding in the jungles of the highest mountains of Yara. Their greatest guerrilla, El Tigre, is waiting with open arms to help you bring them on our side. Then we have Valle de Oro. Not just the engine of Castillo's Viviro operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark. Last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. In Madrugada, we have Castillo's nephew, Jose, a slave driver who forces outcasts to grow that poison Viviro tobacco. But the Montero family is waging war against Jose. They hate visitors, but I have intel on a mechanic who has a workshop in Costa del Mar. His name is Fili Barsaga, and he's their gatekeeper. If I were you, Danny, I'd start in Madrugada. We take back that tobacco with the Montero's help, and we got Castillo's Viviro at the source. You just need to find this mechanic, Philly. I'll be here actioning targeted Libertad strikes against Castillo throughout Yara. Hang on. I'm going to get all these groups to sign up to Libertad by myself? How? Simple. You help. Any way you can. I send a squad to these groups, I'm an invader. I send a scout, then I'm not serious. With you, they get my best career without politics and bullshit. Just help. Libertad takes the capital, we slit Anton's throat, maybe drink his blood, etc., etc. Then he needs a walk. Viva Libertad, Fa! Yeah, yeah. I'm not Clara's best guerrilla. You are. You're not listening. Translate one. The accent. Clara hides it best she can, but she was born rich. From a family of true Yaren she left behind. She can shoot, bleed, drink with us all she wants, but she can't hide the stink of the upper class. What's that have to do with me? You are an orphan, Danny. Poor, from the dirt. When they see you, they don't see politics. They see they have no excuse. She's using me. See? And you're using her right back. Do you want to kill Anton? See? Do you want to free Yara? Sure you do. But here's what Clara can't say, but you and I both know. You want this. You're a guerrilla. And for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush of an ambush, the smell of sulfur burning your nostrils, it's... It's... It's fun. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> 